kick it, ooh, kick it, kick it, oh, oh, kick that podcast. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I don't think that is the intro. Is Eli singing that little bit in the beginning? Hey, <laughs> that, that's a, that's the intro. So, iHeartRadio, welcome. That was Eli being himself. <laughs> What's up, iHeartRadio <laughs> listeners? Congrat! Oh, I was gonna say congratulations. Well, congratulations <laughs> to us. You know, congrats. <laughs> you know, serious. we got a whole different like pool of listeners now. It's gonna be interesting to just you know expand and iHeartRadio. It's funny because like I never used iHeartRadio. I just yeah. always hear like the. It's just some podcasts I listen to like uh, Alchemy. This they, mm-hmm. they're they're uh, a part of iHeartRadio and stuff. So that's the only time I'll hear about it. I've yeah, used so. the the stations on there once in a while, not for podcasts, just the actual radio st- like the artist stations or whatever. Like you, oh, I like Justin Bieber, so I have this station. Like you know, I've done that stuff, but mm-hmm. never yeah. never did podcasts on there or nothing. But now I might because we're on there. So I might have to. But if you're thinking about podcasts, our little friend Wally has his own podcast now called The Ever-Changing Vibes. And a part of his podcast, he has a little segment on Mondays, which one of our girls, Jocelyn, does. which is uh, She does table talks, which is deep conversations. And she has some guests on here and there. They get into some deep conversations and they're very lighthearted. So go check them out. I'll leave links for everyone to check them out. Give them a follow. And wish them the best of luck. They will still be here with us. It's just they got their own show too. So we're, we're all starting to branch out a bit. Hey, that's what it was for, you know, to help uh, promote each other and motivate to build these connections and, you know, make more opportunities for everyone for all, you know. A rising tide raises all ships so it's good yep. to and build an empire <laughs> <laughs> we shall get the glove of thanos i already the have of i already have yeah. it in my studio dude i got it what do you oh, mean? Dude, I, 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 we're just dude, waiting I, I, to do the big snap yeah woke up late hey ne- next time next time i'm in traffic i'm doing it i'm snapping i, yeah, I, come can't, on. I can't, can't can't take it can't it's, take not, it. it's not gonna solve the traffic what are you gonna snap away half of the cars no, half the people. Why not? He just run yeah, over but the it. cars are the cars are still going to be there. Not all of them. Yes, because it didn't no. get rid of the people. Cars, it just got rid of the people. Yeah, but what if I do it like three in the morning when no one's driving anywhere? Then boom. Oh, perfect. No one's driving anywhere. That's see funny. that see that's how you do it. You're doing this less traffic. I mean, on other, road trips. other parts of the world will get fucked because I do it three in the morning here, but. I'm fine over here, so I'm going to do it. Exactly. It don't matter. <laughs> Just don't watch the news so you don't hear about it. So. Yeah, it's, it's all their problems now, not mine. Yeah, it's all their <laughs> like so Speaking of around the world, the Olympics, uh, obviously I'm going to talk about USA because uh, mm-hmm. only country I follow. <laughs> Men's <laughs> basketball is going into gold again. All in. Yeah, and I don't even know who's on the team this year. I think the only one I know of is Durant, I think. I oh, I don't even know, honestly. I don't even keep track of players and stuff, you know. I just I know skateboarding is in the Olympics now. I saw that. That was cool. Pretty cool. That was That's pretty, pretty cool. badass. Um, what else? Uh, 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 cardboard beds. What about yeah, those cardboard nice. beds. Yeah, it's it's so weird because it's like the, Japan gave all, all the Olympic Olympians condoms and then they then they give them these cardboard beds to prevent. <laughs> and, oh, let me oh, let me find the video. It's uh, fuck. I think I do have it right here. Uh, imagine like they did that for like the Super Bowl or something. All right, please here's your condoms and here's your cardboard bed. <laughs> That's pretty Wait, funny. What? <laughs> it's like there's a bunch of videos of like the Olympians like hopping on top of it. It's like what is this? Like what's the point of this? It was just fall apart. Yeah, they basically it's just like for any sudden like like movements, it doesn't like it's not stable. <laughs> they just use their leftover Amazon boxes. And they they built they built beds out of them. Oh, I wouldn't should be make, surprised. I should make shit. my house out of that. I got plenty of Amazon boxes. I can make a house. Yeah, I heard that's actually bad for cats. The boxes because they have like a chemical they spray on them to get rid of rats and stuff and like hmm. the the fucking uh, warehouses. I didn't know that. 
But yeah, so like some cats have been like, like they'll, you know how they play with boxes and shit, they'll like lick them oh, and yeah. stuff, they'll have like rashes and shit. Oh, I didn't know that. The thing I don't have a yeah. cat. <laughs> He's like, I'm chilling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I do have cats, so it's a good thing to know that. Well, yeah, well. Hey, and you got awesome dogs you. too. Mm-hmm. They don't really like boxes though. Yeah, I know, but I like your dogs. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. I like my dogs too. Uh, they're cute pups. They're big chilling. Just, Just download, download Minecraft. Oh, what? And you like your <laughs> video? <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> Oh, I was like, I was like, actually, I, I just found this Minecraft. So far, I have not found the video, honestly. Oh, not the exact one. Yeah. All right, well, we'll keep uh, we'll keep moving on while you uh, you look for that video still, so we're not sitting here in silence like weirdos. Oh, right, you don't so, want to be weirdos? Well, I mean, we already yeah, but I don't want them to know that yet. It's too oh. soon. It's too soon. Well, clearly, it's not. Right, yeah, Sorry. Yeah, it's too soon. Way too <laughs> soon. I, I don't want... Come on, we just got the iHeartRadio audience. I don't need to scare them away already. That would be a terrible start. I so, got it. I got it. Oh, you Let's go. <laughs> All right. Ready? Yep. These are the Olympic Games. The beds are meant to be anti-sex. They're made out of cardboard, yes, but apparently they're meant to break at any sudden movements. It's fake. <laughs> fake news. Fake news. <laughs> <laughs> That accent, though. It's so fake. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so I figured since we've done, this will be episode 23, we've never really introduced ourselves to uh, our audience. We just started talking like a bunch of idiots. So I figured we should take the time the best now. Way. Is it, though? <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Always good to have a proper introduction. <laughs> Yeah, nothing, nothing fancy. We'll just uh, go around the room, say each other's names, and we'll just let everyone know what we do here at Core, and um, and any other little details you want to throw in, you can. But I'll keep mine short and sweet. I'm Mike. I created this idea for Core Entertainment, so I'm pretty much like the boss. So listen to me. And yeah, who um, wants to go next? I was gonna say, fucking uh, Elijah or Eli, whatever you prefer, don't matter to me. It's still the same name. Fucking uh, I am the, I guess, the graphic designer of uh, Inner Core. I also do the Grand Rising podcast on the side, and I also do other graphic design work like logos, shirts, basically anything arts and crafts. I am in there like swimwear, trying to get my art into a. Yeah, out there. That's really it. Simple as that. Enjoying what I do. And that's, uh, that's what I do. And then, hi, I'm Amanda. So I'm, I'm number, I'm the second boss, basically. Yep. I'm the second, I'm, I'm one step down from Mike. So if you don't want to listen to him, then you also have to listen to me. Because yep. <laughs> I, I have to play bad guy sometimes. So, um, Let's see. What do I do? I do lots of stuff. I do the arts, but I'm not the art person. I'm kind of just all over the place. <laughs> I'm always overly busy with life, so I'm I'm here and there, but you know. You're like a you're like a black ops. You do all the secret stuff in the background that, like, you know, like because Mike's the public figure, and then you're that other like leader that does all the dirty work in the back. You know yeah, what I'm she's saying? The yeah, assassin. pretty much. She's the assassin. Yeah. I'm, yeah, just, I'm, not... I'm just a guy. <laughs> I'm out here, out here killing people when no one realizes. Really. <laughs> I'm like in Iron Man three, how they had the Mandarin and it was like an actor the whole time. Uh, mm. I'm the guy, but I'm the guy that's the actor that's like a goofy Mandarin, and Amanda's the real Mandarin behind the scenes doing everything else. I'm just there on camera to look, look pretty. She, she just goes around like just messing with other podcasts, like nothing serious. She just like <laughs> disconnects their microphones here and there, like what the. Just keeps happening. Yeah, I don't know. yeah their Wi Fi goes out, or, or somehow their, their storage system has a corrupted file and they lose an episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a whole fucking like long episode, too, like a two, three hour episode. It's like, no. Yeah. She, she's like the Winter Soldier for me, pretty much. I have a cool oh, what I say right. to her, and she just goes into it, and I have to worry about nothing. I like uh -huh. that. I like that. <laughs> yep. That's, that's pretty much my job. Yeah. But I also, I also do the doodles, so yeah. She does. She's she very good at it. Great too. doodles. I do um I do a lot of like tattoo references so 
people ever need a tattoo reference, I'm there. <laughs> I'm for we it. Have our future you tattoo doing? artist. It's so mm, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Mm, questionable. Get back to me in like a year. I got you. I'm gonna put. A, I'm gonna put a thing on the calendar now. Mm, mm. <laughs> this date exactly. August fifth. Oh yeah. Twenty twenty two. Yep. Tattoo August fifth. Twenty twenty two. Are you a tattoo artist yet? <laughs> yeah. Every August fifth, yes, ass. Hey, you a tattoo artist yet? <laughs> We're like in our nineties. Hey, you a tattoo artist yet? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Eli! <laughs> hey! All right! <laughs> but yeah, pretty, pretty much. Happy. Pretty much Amanda and I have the same role, except she's the bad guy, I'm the good guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I I can be mean, I don't like to. <laughs> so that's why I'm poor. Yep. Well, and you were the first person I asked to start this idea with, so I made sense to put you second in command because we are the first two. Oh, yes. I was off in a far-off land called Texas. And, um... <laughs> there's, uh, Someone who was like, hey, you, uh... You wanna, you wanna start a podcast? He was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll start a podcast. And here we are. But before this, me and Mike had already been, um... recording YouTube videos on his YouTube account, so... Yeah. If you know any, if you know anything about that bad boy, and you can hear me screaming at Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you hear, and you hear me uh, making fun of her the whole time. Yeah. Even though I'm yeah. dead and she's alive, I make fun of her for sucking. Yeah. <laughs> Every time, <laughs> she can't escape it. <laughs> You're like you're garbage and be dead ninety percent of the time. <laughs> oh yeah, duh. That, that's my job, dude. What troll is alive and always killing people? This is this is true. Creeper. That's you know what you're not wrong. You know why are you so on my Minecraft? Minecraft will be done like, after this podcast. I was gonna say oh, why geez. are you stuck on Minecraft so much right now? Oh, it's just because oh, I'm just looking at all my downloads right now. I'm like, all right, let's get it. Well, Should I just download it on my MacBook? Yeah, I think so. All right. I was gonna say also <laughs> we should get an Overwatch uh, squad too. <gasps> uh, I'll yeah. tell you guys now. I um. I don't play Overwatch, so I don't know how you No one cares. Play. No one cares. Me and Eli play Overwatch. <laughs> That's, no fine. That's fine. That means one of you two got to record it then. <sighs> All right. It's fine. I got it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's play competitive and just recruit a fucking diesel team. And then we go against the greatest of streamers and then and get we just on. become. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Exactly <laughs> it. But at least we got pooped on by the best. So that will get our viewers up. And they're like, Dude, wow, what? who are these people that got trashed on? Oh, it's That'll these guys. <laughs> It'll be funny. You guys talk all this shit and like, like, oh, we're the best, we're the best. Have like two or three losses on your record. And then when you play against them, just like throw the game, like like jump off it's the map and do stupid shit. And they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> can't. We will lose with honor. We must go through it. <laughs> like, you guys try and do like, what you think. Like, you think it's try hard moves what you're doing. And these guys are like doing all these strats that no one really knows besides them. Like sliding, climbing over walls, and stabbing you in the back. Like, I didn't even know he could do that. Hey, it's like no fair. You guys play fucking pro shit. You guys know some sneaker moves. <laughs> hey, no fair. You guys get paid to do this. I don't. <laughs> oh, it's, it is pretty crazy watching them play like over like an Overwatch league, like a professionals. It's pretty like, like the synchronization, the planning is just like, it motivates you to want to play. But then you realize how shit your team is, and you're just like, yeah. No. Yeah, see, I, I'm good as a decoy. Amanda can agree with me on that. I'm good at being a decoy. Yeah, that's, like we, that's that's pretty accurate. We'll play Search and Destroy, and I'll tell I think this guy in that building, she goes, oh, yeah? But, yeah, watch this. I pop out, like, I know he's in. I shoot randomly, and I hide and peek out. Then he eventually peeks out, Amanda shoots him. Like, see? I, I thought that was a guy in there. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it works. It works really well for that situation. So. Yeah, I'm good at doing that, because I really don't care mm -hmm. if I die. I don't care about my KD. A lot of people do, but I don't. So I, that's why I don't mind doing that stuff. <laughs> Oh, dude, I feel you. Dude, I, I've been working on the ride shield, getting it gold. Oh, so, that's dude. fantastic. <laughs> it's so much fun. Know, you guys know the YouTuber basically how I do work? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know he has the black camo for his RPG? The obsidian no. camo? funny as hell. 
Really? Call, he calls I mean, it his big black dick. I'm <laughs> not even... <laughs> Makes sense. It's so damn funny. I just can't believe... It's like uh, how Brandon is. He has, uh, he has, like, diamond and, like, everything. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He was on the grind. Yeah, dude, he's on the grind, man. Every time I look, I see him on COD, and I know he's grinding for diamond. I, I mean, I grind for diamond in Minecraft, but I don't do that in COD. <laughs> That's funny. I grind, <laughs> I grind for diamond in um, Stardew Valley. Does that count? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, don't be rude. <laughs> Animal Crossing have diamonds? <laughs> Uh, no, it does not. Oh, Amanda, when uh, when you're here Saturday, speaking of Animal That's... Crossing, Alyssa wanted to ask you if she should get Animal Crossing, because she wants to. She can she can get Animal Crossing, and then I can teach her all about Animal Crossing and how to be an absolute pimp and have too much money to know what to do with yourself with. Because one of her friends told her that she would like <laughs> it, and she asked me if I think she would like it. I'm like, dude, I never played it, so I'm the last person to ask. I said, don't ask me about a game I don't play. I said, I don't want to give you the, I mean, the wrong info. I mean, you you have to be really into, like, the Animal Crossing. So the Animal Crossing community. Hi, Animal Crossing community. I love you. Um, huh. We are a special, special breed. Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, it just depends. I'm not going to say she's not going to like Animal Crossing. Am I going to say that she's going to get too deep into that game and that it's going to all of a sudden take over her life for a few months? Yes. Yes, I am saying that. So if she's willing to enter the void that is Animal Crossing and then all of a sudden pop out of it like three months later and then like not touch the game probably, like I don't. I uh, so, so that, basically the joke that that's be been going that. around in that lovely community is like half the people who played Animal Crossing went over to Stardew Valley. And then they haven't really touched Animal Crossing. Like, I have not really touched Animal Crossing in a while. I've been playing Stardew Valley. Because it's basically Animal Crossing, but, you know, with regular people. And, like, there's more to do. Like, there's so many secrets in that game. So I think that... I think she would like Animal Crossing. I think she would like Stardew Valley more. Yeah, she doesn't... Because it's a little more interesting. She doesn't sit and play her Switch. She, like... She would be like one day she's all in on her switch, and then it could be like three weeks till she touches it again. Oh, then she wants Animal Crossing, or start either one will honestly work fine. I say because that, that's what she does. Like she has a couple games, but she doesn't sit there and play. She'll do that for a day, maybe two, but then after that she won't touch it for a while. Then she'll do it again. Then just that does like a cycle like that. But I know you like playing Animal Crossing, which is why it popped to my head about asking you about it. Yeah. I think I it's a good I game. I don't know shit I think she would like it. Yeah. It's not like everybody's kind of complaining right now to Nintendo because we want updates that are like kind of like more things to do because once you basically have all your stuff upgraded and like all your villagers on your house and your island done the way you wanted it, like, you can only terraform your island so many times before you go absolutely insane because it takes hours and hours on end. So, like, I made mine the way I liked it and I haven't changed it because I literally don't have the patience to go through tearing down all the mountains and moving around all the houses just because I have stupid amounts of money. Like, people literally, there's... So, like, there's literally, like, a stock, basically, mm. like, stocks yeah. in Animal Crossing that people, like, take real serious. For money, no, no, like no, you can no, sell your villagers for money, and oh yeah, that's a slavery I with extra that's slaves, man. <laughs> Not really. I it's mean, digital I'm, slaves. I'm like, no. it's more. It's not like the prisoners so like with you, jobs. The it's, prisoners. It's, with <laughs> so basically, what happens is like when your villager wants to leave the island, if it's one of the ones you don't want, you can tell them like, hey, okay, cool, move on to the greener pastures. But if someone comes and visits your island, like one of your friends or something, and talks to them, you can convince that villager to move to your island if you want them. So what people will do is they'll find or they got lucky and have someone that's, like, really popular. Like, Marshall is one of the really popular ones. And so then, like, to get onto their island, they'll, like, charge you, like, Nook Miles tickets or, like, money and be like, yo this much to go and make him your villager and I know how to do this because I have done it to people and I've also been on the receiving end there's like a whole thing it's called Nookazon it's basically like 
Animal Crossing's version of Amazon, where you like can buy and sell characters. That you just said? It's, it's so yeah, it's a lot. That's what I'm saying. Like Animal Crossing is like really big old black hole. Like once you get into deep understanding of every little thing that is to do with Animal Crossing, it gets pretty crazy because it's a multiplayer game. Like Stardew Valley, they have local co-op, but they don't really have multiplayer on the Switch. I don't know PC wise. I haven't logged on to my Stardew Valley on my PC in a while because I got it on my Switch and it's just so much more convenient. Hmm. So I need to start playing the Switch honestly in general. I actually heard they're releasing well, they're remastering Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I heard like that too. They're supposed to be making, or they already came out with them, like a not Nintendo, I don't think, but they came out with like a open world Pokemon game, pretty much. Oh wow! Um, all right. Because I've I've been seeing like some YouTubers are like kind of playing it, but I don't really know what it is because they haven't like actually clicked on the videos. But I think that's what it is, for the most part. But yeah. Animal Crossing, I never played, so I can't really relate. <laughs> Animal Crossing is a very <laughs> the hole you fall down it and you don't come out for a while it's like, like over can you pass me down the ocean so like that game has only been out for a over a little over a year now right i already have like over 600 hours of playtime oh, on it my. oh so like if oh, that oh, makes, if, if that, that and that's like that's not like uncommon Fallout 3 jesus christ like some people are like hey like making jokes and be like when did you hit plus 250 hours on your switch for animal crossing Huh. And like day it, one, bitch. you, it is literally like day in and day out. Like you do not stop. And I cheat in that game so hard. Yeah, so, I know. Like, I you watched can, you. Uh, so, like, dude, I watched you cheat, man. She's a fucking sweaty nerd in that game. Come on, so, like, man. Why happened, you learn cheat like that? So it's what funny. happened was like I was gone. Yeah. You guys know, like, all right, so, like, I have radio people don't know. But, like, I'm in the military, so I was gone for, like, my tech school what? and my uh, military training. The I heart radio people don't know. I don't know that. That's news <laughs> <laughs> so I was gone for training, so I didn't have my Switch with me. So what I did when I got back instantly was go on Animal Crossing after everything updated and Fuck time travel back in time <laughs> so I can play all the Christmas events and all the Thanksgiving events and everything that I missed. Because I'm a sweaty nerd for it. So yeah. <laughs> that's why people are like, you cheat on Animal Crossing. But I don't care. Fuck you guys. Because at least if I wanted to stay in the fall, I get to stay in the fall year round. And you don't. So hmm. sucks to be you. And if you want to know how to cheat, it's simple. You just go into settings and you change the time and date on your console. And it'll never know. Now you know. You're welcome. Watch. Now next week, oh. there's, a pat- next week there's a patch and you can't do that anymore. <laughs> no, you still. It, Animal Crossing works off of your console's time, so there's no way they'd be able to patch it. Oh. Yeah. Get fucked. <laughs> well, then. At least someone's fucking me. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. Well, Uncle Sam's fucking you some way, somehow. Yeah, I you know. don't know. Hey. <laughs> I know, I know. Watch it. <laughs> oh, <hey. laughs> what, what am I watching? You just hear a gun cock back. <laughs> what did you say? No, hey man, whoa, just chill, chill. <laughs> Talking shit again? Man, <laughs> just joke, just joke. <laughs> hey, for the memes, there was an American flag on a trunk, and I honked at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh that's funny. America, you smell the freedom. <laughs> oh, I, I sniffed too hard. I sniffed too hard. <laughs> oh, dude, you I'm get so sick too. Everyone, listen to that. Freedom in your ears. No, just, just deep breath. Freedom do be ringing, folks. <laughs> deep breath and you just pass out. Just like... <gasps> <laughs> Smack your just head around the table. got high off of meditation. high off of meditation. Yeah, that's how you um, do it. Hey, if anyone tells you otherwise, they're wrong. Don't listen to them. Remember, kids. Listen to druggies. Whoa. <laughs> Don't listen to drugs. <laughs> no, don't. Stay in school. If someone offers you drugs, you say yes because drugs are expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't even argue with that. <laughs> Inner core is not condoned doing drug use, but if you do, do it safely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, geez. I never thought we'd have a, a, a druggy reference at all <laughs> during, during these podcasts, but I guess we had to at some point, right? 
<laughs> Imagine we get sponsored by fucking that cocaine. company too. Oh. <laughs> sponsored <laughs> we got sponsored by cocaine. <laughs> this is sponsored by Colombian cocaine. Uh, I'm not allowed to be sponsored by that. <laughs> oh, well, you're probably oh, California cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not allowed to be sponsored by any form. <laughs> Alright, then I'll just take your share, that's all. That's perfectly uh, fine. <laughs> I'll take your share, and then I'll just give it to you. and just I'll make another bet with you for clutching around to search and destroy you or something again. Oh my god, yeah. Can we do that another day? We don't have to make bets on it, but like uh, that was the most motivation ever. Like You can just tell me you're going to give me something, and it can be like lollipops again. I'd probably still go there crazy. Oh, oh my god, so, no, it'd be fire. Those I'll cake cup, like ice creams. Oh, yeah, that would be good. They're, like, small, like the chocolate, just the basic chocolate and vanilla. Yeah, what the heck are those called? I know what you're talking about. And it's oh, a little, like, wooden spoon. Yeah. Hoodsies. Hoodsies, yeah. Dude, I want hoodsies all the time. I got them in the freezer right now at home. Yeah, I want hoodsies. Dude, for... send one over. The fuck? So on Saturday, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> if oh, I dude, hoodsies. hoodsies. <laughs> if if we still good, have them. Hoodsies. Dude, my father has, like, two a night if we even have any more. Uh, Call of Duty and Hootsie. Yeah, there you go. See, I think what we should do, and this is an idea I might as well get out in public since we got us here and all the guys listening that are probably going to tell us we're wrong and idiots anyways. But I'm thinking we should do, I don't know if you've ever seen these types of content videos, but people will do a playthrough of a game, but all sitting together in the same room, but one person plays. And like everyone just hangs out kind of experiences the whole thing together. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Kind of like a gang grump situation. Yeah, yeah, something like that, yeah. Um, oh, bro, you know what we could do is when they remaster Dead Space. We that can. Would be oh, a yes. Great who's, the one, who's the one that'll get scared the most? Will get scared the most? Yeah. Brandon. Because that Probably. person should play while everyone watches. Brandon. Because I feel like it'll be funnier okay. if the person that would get the scared the easiest would play because that'd be more enjoyment for everyone else to watch <laughs> that the chicken should play and everyone else should watch I think yeah that'd be, be fun like we could do that with any game but the horror games would definitely be like the top notch ones we should definitely do that way because I feel Especially like that with VR. would be fun oh VR would be funny uh, yeah if I get a Ford VR I would do it you can get a cheap one. My oh, you know what? Honestly, I could ask my aunt if I can borrow her Oculus because she has one. We could actually. I'll, I can just I'll... ask her. I can just ask her if she'll get me one for my birthday because um, she's rich. So <laughs> yeah, but how do you? I'm record... rich, bitch. How do you record Oculus though? I don't know how. I don't know. We can Google it. That's what Google's for, isn't it? Oh it yeah. Is, but oh, I, I hope it ain't hard because I, I don't know if I have enough stuff to do that. Cause I'm Definitely gotta play Overwatch though. Well, you two can. I'm, I'm good with that. Uh, what yeah, I just play Anna and Lucio. That's it. Let's get it. Amanda, which Oculus does she have? I have no idea. All right, well, I'll just look up questions. The white one. Hey, 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 don't bring race into this, all right? We're not that type I of I didn't. Podcast. I brought color. Yeah, hey, still don't. Still don't do that. Uh uh-uh. uh. It was white. No. Nope. It was a white Oculus. No. Nope. It was white. It was white. Uh, black Oculus is matter, you know. Black I didn't Oculus say they didn't. Honestly, yeah. on, if I'm being honest, I prefer like consoles and everything in black because that's my favorite color. So, oh me too. I mean, too. you're not I, gonna I, see. I'm bummed my Xbox Series S is white, but I prefer the digital over the discs because I don't feel like buying discs anymore. They only offered it in white the, for the digital. Yeah, the S is uh, white and the X is black. Oh, that's fucking stupid. Yeah, so I got I got a this is the first ever white console I had. Everything else I, had I was hate black. it. I hate it. It doesn't I, it doesn't fit the aesthetic. Even my three sixties blacks. I had the Elite three sixty. Yeah, I had that one too. I have that, and I have a Gears of War three stickers all over it. So my Xbox, my Xbox One is white though because it's like the Xbox One S or whatever it was. Oh so. yep, yeah, I get yeah. you. But yeah, mine fine. was uh, day one Xbox One. Well, I had a day one, and then re- it, it got stolen. Remember. Oh uh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, stolen Fun stuff. Yeah, stolen by my sibling. Yep. Thief. Shout out to the sibling. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude! It looks like you can record Fucking... from the Oculus itself. 
You probably can. Yeah, it says you can. It has recorded I mean, video, people, take a photo, people, and go live. You can even live stream that way. Oh, sweet. That's pretty cool. People play Beat Saber and record it for, like, their YouTube and stuff, so they have to. You know? Yeah, I know there was ways, I just didn't know how. But yeah, we could. That, that's one. pretty cool, too. Because yeah, I mean, we kind of got a taste of that at my at the the party that I had when she. Oh, yeah. were you still there? Yeah, yeah, you were. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was. I was one of the last ones to leave. What do you mean? Was I there? Yeah, you right though. Yeah, you right though. <laughs> you were not Fuck. wrong in fucking, that statement. Fucking Christ! Now, were you there? No, I was just there for eight hours. Hey, I wasn't there at all. Hey, don't talk trash. I always talk to my trash this way. Wow. <laughs> hey, we have nachos named after us, all right? Stop being yeah, so we down about being called trash. I'm not down about it. Just, I don't have like, nachos to make me feel better. So. I forget the restaurant name because I'm terrible at remembering those. It's Cask and Pig. Oh, yeah. I've actually never been there. Uh, they it's have delicious. nachos called tra- trash, trash can, can nachos. nachos. Yeah, trash can nachos. Trash yeah, so named after nachos. us. And it's they have trash. trash can brownies, too. Oh, yeah, Ooh. they did. They had brownies named after us, too. Yeah. This sounds dirty as fuck. Dude, like, that clearly, sounds like, mm. they had to they, watch my yeah. Call of Duty videos, because you would never think of that unless you watch them, because I think of that when I watch them. What, about trash cans? Yeah, yeah, how bad I am. Trash can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Half of my Call of Duty videos on my channel, I'd say 80% of the time, I, I kill myself at some point. Whether it's RPG attempts and I kill myself, or I've done this plenty of times. Amanda, you see me do it: throw a grenade, bounce off the wall, and it blows up my face. Yeah, I've done that plenty of times. I'm like a professional at that. Those are the best. I'll try to throw it around the corner. It has a bad bounce, comes right back, and blows me up. <laughs> I had the worst luck. We have to have like Jeff set up my classes for Call of Duty because. When I try to make, like, quick scoping classes, they never work for me. Like, I never know, like, how to do it specifically. Yeah, like, I, I know that. online they have, like, oh, like, you want to do, like, these, like, certain attachments. And it'll, like, mm-hmm. make it so, like, you zoom in super. But he has all that stuff already set up. So I basically just copy the classes he already has. Or, like, if I'm over at his house and I'm, like, playing COD, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I'll just use it. And that's, like, the only time that I do extremely well in COD is when I have the correct tools. To use what, you have me. I'm a I'm a correct tool. What do you mean? <laughs> and then the other thing, the other discovery that we made was that he was like, um, they were because I would I am what I would like to say is I'm a very like nervous Call of Duty player. So like I'm not nervous to initially play the game. Like I don't care. Like shooting people, I get it. But for some reason, like the second somebody pops around the corner and I'm trying to like quick scope people, my brain like shuts off and <laughs> I panic. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that's why I would trash. Because <laughs> like if I didn't like when I zone out and I actually play, like Mike knows, like when I try and I like just zone out and don't like realize that I'm just sitting here like playing the game and like trying to be good at it, I do way better than I do when I'm like trying to be good at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you don't try, you're amazing. And when you try, you, you fucking, you blow it every time. Every single time. <laughs> you be, be pulling time. nukes, all right? 1v1, this person could be defusing the bomb, not moving. She will miss 99% of the shots and they'll defuse the bomb. <laughs> I mean, like, physically, I, I can't play Search and Destroy unless I'm just trying to mess with people because well, although I, I love how toxic it is in search and destroy sometimes i just don't i just don't feel like hearing it so i just physically you can't <laughs> I, don't, I don't like hearing it i just stay in party chat or i just don't have a mic and i just mute everyone so i can just do this stuff and just keep laughing while i'm doing it <laughs> i don't have to worry about hearing nothing because like for the most part it's yeah it's one of the better game modes honestly i would prefer to like only play that or like whatever it is the cyber attack, which is basically search and destroy, but you can respawn or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. You revive your teammates. Yeah, like I would. Those those game modes are probably like the best setup because you have to have like movement and everything. Where like yeah. in a lot of them, like with team deathmatch and everything, people just kind of camp now, which sucks. <laughs> yeah, I know. You play team deathmatch or domination, everyone just camps. But you play search and destroy, you have one life. Everyone runs in circles the whole time. 
Or like um, hard points, really good too for that. Like try to getting the movement. So, and then obviously like actual war zone or anything. I can't do war zone anymore. Yeah, I'm on the same boat. It's too crazy now. Everyone's too good. We were. Um, I played a fucking. Oh, what's it called? The one where you're collecting money. Version of oh, that game uh... mode. Oh, shit. Just with like a P or whatever. I, I know what game type you're talking about. I can't. Remember okay, well, the one where you like collect money, and we were literally playing it like obviously not playing a obje objective, just like fucking around and killing a bunch of people, and it was it was actually super fun. Because what's nice about it is you don't have to worry about the gulag or anything. You just spawn back in. You just keep going. So it was definitely like a weirder, more intense version of Ground War, which is another game mode that I also play. I only play Ground War too. <laughs> Yeah, I um, I have played the one you're talking about. I'm trying to find out the name. Oh, Plunder. Plunder, yeah, that's what it is. Plunder. Yeah, I played it with uh with Nick before. Yeah, Plunder's fun. I think Plunder's pretty fun. Yeah, I think uh, I think Nick and Bianca played it. I think we us three played it before. It's fun because all you do is once you find like a spot where the helicopter comes, you can just camp there the whole time. Yeah, and then the other thing, if we're not playing like, uh. Modern Warfare, then it's zombies. Zombies all the way. Which are the new zombie, the newer, or the yet. newest zombie map. Well, I played it, remember? No. I played it. Yeah. I, uh -huh. I, I don't remember. I, I, don't, I don't remember. I honestly don't. Well, I, I, um, yeah, it was that day that we played for a little and then you got off. The brand new one that just came out like two weeks ago? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, that was before. Was when, it? We, when we played, that was before that one came out. That's when we were playing that damn, um... Oh, jeez. The, the zombies mode where it's like you gotta jump from map to map after you do, like, objectives and shit. What yeah. What was called? I don't know, but it was uh, fun. I don't remember. <laughs> but, yeah, that that's what we played that night. That was, like, a couple weeks before this one came out. This one just came out. I, I know I didn't play it yet. That means That's I have another new... download. Probably. God damn it. But so I, many I, updates. What I did do. So many. New for the core channel. Uh, cause I do the sport simulations. I don't know if you guys notice I put those up there. What yeah. stuff's coming out. But I did my first ever UFC uh, simulations that are coming out tomorrow. Because it's uh, UFC fights on Saturday, which will be the day this podcast comes out. So yesterday, that means they would have came out at some point, because I forgot what time I set them to come out. And yeah, I did four. I did four fights. And um, and I started doing my WWE SummerSlam simulations, because SummerSlam's coming up. Uh, and the main event is John Cena versus Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship. John Cena yeah. has a chance to break the record of most... Uh, world Championship wins. He's tied with 16. He wins on August 21st, which is Saturday. He'll be a 17-time champ. First wrestler to do that. Yeah. That's gonna happen. Uh, I like to hope so. I'm actually... They're doing a cool thing with SummerSlam. They're putting it in theaters live to watch, and uh, Alyssa and I are going in theaters to watch it. Oh, it's gonna be sick. Yeah, it's funny. So the setup at the theater... Uh, the whole front row section, like the first three rows that no one wants to sit in ever, is sold out for this. Oh, wow. But the rest is empty. Crazy. Weird. Like, I'm sitting in the back where a normal person sits for the movie, and everyone else is sitting up in the first three rows. I don't know if it's because it's wrestling, everyone's excited, so they're trying to like act like they're there, so they're up that close. But it's, That'd be my guess. But yeah, it's it's sold out in the front. There's like three seats open. In the front, and the rest is all empty. That's just funny. Like, what? I don't know. It is weird, though. It's like, all right, cool. It is, because in a movie, it's the other way around. There's a few people sitting down there in the back sold out. But I'm excited to go. I was going to go to SummerSlam last year, because it would have been in Boston, thanks to the pandemic. It never happened. Um, God damn pandemic. Alyssa and I were getting special tickets because, uh, so the way their schedule would have worked is Saturday, they would have had an event for one of their shows called NXT, which has, like, all the young, 
the the new kids pretty much show up and they do their pay-per-view then then Sunday would have been SummerSlam and then Monday would have been Monday Night Raw but all three would have been in Boston and I was going to get a special tickets to go to all three nights and would spend the night up in Boston for that event but never got to do it cute that would have been cute that would have been fun, yeah, because Alyssa got into wrestling. We went to the, the last live WWE event before the pandemic. I never just got really that into it. It was never my uh, cup of tea. Like, so you're having not... tea time? <laughs> <laughs> it's not my cup of tea now anymore. Like, I like it here and there. Sometimes it's great. Sometimes, it honestly, it's the worst thing I've ever watched. But the, the pay-per-views... I they're still the same hype and they live up to it but like Raw and Smackdown suck ass half the time it's, it's disappointing like, like they fired my favorite wrestler right now they got rid of him which pisses me off because now I don't have my favorite anymore uh, his name is Bray Wyatt he created a character called The Fiend and he's absolutely horrifying let's see if I can uh, let's see The I'm Fiend gonna a, I'm gonna get a picture I'm gonna show you. It's like a needle. It's like a... <laughs> but yeah, I'm so pissed. Like, they actually went so hard on making this character that they had a guy that makes all the famous like horror movie masks make his mask. Really? Yeah, and yeah, and they got rid of him. Um, I'll put it in the general text in Discord so you ladies can see it. Oh, um, ladies. Wow. Right, just put it in there now. Let me know when you oh, see it. Oh, yeah. I remember you saying that. Ain't it beautiful? Yeah, that thing's rough. Dude, it's awesome. Like, in the, his entrance, so he has a lantern he comes out with, and it's his actual head, like a, a molding of his head with a lantern in its mouth and his eyes sewed shut. It's so fucked up, wow. and it's so cool. Like it, They did an awesome job making this character, and they wasted it. Pretty shitty. I'm, I'm going to find the lantern. I'm sure you guys have a lantern now. Because it's, it's fantastic. It, couldn't believe it. This guy came up with it on his own. And... It's rare when a wrestler makes up their own character and it, like it goes somewhere. Usually, it goes right in the dumpster and it sucks ass. Yeah. Right, I just posted a picture of the lantern in uh in the chat. Oh, sweet. Oh, I like that. Isn't that sick? Yeah, that's that pretty. Imagine. All right. All right. You see some Slipknot vibes. Right, for sure. <laughs> and it's like a, a dual personality. He has himself, Bray Wyatt. And he hosts, it's funny, it's like a kid's show. Amanda, I'll show you when you come over. Because, like, the first one, you're just like, this is fucking weird. Then each one gets more twisted as it goes on. Like, weird shit happens. Like, they have creepy characters, weird music, static and stuff. And then the fiend starts showing up. And then it makes it even more creepy. Oh, that's and it's, pretty cool. It was just, just awesome how they made it work. Now they got rid of him. So now I'm, now I'm bummed. Yeah, that was kind of shitty. It was never, like, my um, my thing. Like, I remember at, like, the Whaling City Festival when they had it, they used to have, like, some, like, WWE-esque type stuff going on, and I was always just like, meh. Oh, my God, I remember that. Right next yeah. to the pond. Yeah. Hey, I remember that. I've seen it once. It's like never that, again. That's, like, I always explain to people, if you don't watch, like, the real brands of wrestling do it, it's not the same. You can tell who are inexperienced and experienced. If you watch WWE or you watch uh, All Elite Wrestling, which is a new show, but they're all, like, everyone knows, they, they're big names in the wrestling business, so it's not like they're nobodies. And you got Impact Wrestling, which has the same deal. Uh, but if you watch those shows, you can tell. They've been doing it for years. They're not rusty. They don't look like idiots. Uh, it's smooth. The best wrestling is Japan. They got the best wrestlers out there. Like, absolutely phenomenal. Really? I didn't know that. 
Yeah, New Japan Pro Wrestling. You look up any of that shit, it is intense and it was, it's fire. It's awesome to watch. Pro wrestling. Like um, some of the yeah, biggest. Yeah, I've seen. Yeah, what's that? I was gonna say I've seen like the the ones on TV too because my my dad um, was super into it, or probably still is honestly. But it was just always kind of like, yeah, they're fighting. <laughs> you know, it wasn't like a, oh my god, that's like, crazy. If you watched, if I I'm gonna show you a video now to just show you a lot of the crazy stuff that does happen, like the oh my god moments of wrestling, like the barbed wire, the flaming tables and stuff, that shit's awesome to watch. They're throwing each other into thumbtacks and stuff. It's insane what they put their bodies through. Like, yeah, their punches are fake, but you get hit with a chair, it's not fake when you see the chair bend when it hits the person's back. It's not fake. Or the, the tables. They're still wooden tables. Yeah, the, some of them are made to break easier than others so they don't get severely hurt, but they still have to go through it. So shitty. Yeah, it's stuff that I would not want to do. I love watching it, but I don't want to do it. I've seen a lot of fucked up stuff in my day watching wrestling, so <laughs> I've seen a lot of shit. I saw this guy got hit in the face with a ladder and it broke his nose. There's blood squirting everywhere. It was insane. It was a freak accident that happened. It was gross. Ugh. Alright, guys. So, what do you think? I think we reached our limit here. Uh, honestly, I'm trying to think of anything else I can look out there, honestly. I'm good, honestly. I don't have anything in mind. Yeah, no. yeah, I don't have anything. I don't have anything in the brain. Yeah, no, I got... Head, head empty. Yeah, head I, empty. I emptied out right there at the end with the, the wrestling stuff. I don't got much more either. The yeah. only other exciting thing going on is on the 13th, I have my uh, D&D character coming in. So. Oh, uh, I don't know when mine's coming in yet. You didn't get the Wait. shipping date. Uh, it didn't give me a date. It just told me it was confirmed. I would check back in your email. Well, I, mine's, I, mine's shipped. I have all the emails still. Mine says it has shipped. Uh, I don't see it. Do you have to go to the order details page? Wait, you get like a sculpture or something of your D and D character? We, yeah, yeah, so we put them own. in. We put them in. Um. In the Discord chat a while ago, it was me. Oh yeah, I seen him. Yeah. yeah. So, and my other friend actually, Latrell, he the one um, down in Maryland. He was saying that he had a bunch of other minis, and I was supposed to look at them before I left, but I forgot. So the next time I go down to Maryland, um, I'm gonna check them out because he, him, and a group of his friends play D and D. So he yeah, was like, yeah. the next time you come down, you should come down when we're doing that, so we can all play. Indie's really uh, cool. It's just hard to find a group to do it with. Yeah, like I have a, I have a couple of friends that like really want to play. Like my friend Marissa has been dying, dying. Her and her husband have been dying to try and like find a group of people to play. So we're trying to get that figured out too. But we want. We thought it would be kind of fun um, if we started like a D and D campaign for core because like it's definitely like one of those things where people kind of. Oh, hey, same day, 13th. Yeah. I was going to say, we all ordered it on the same day, so I'm assuming. That's so cool. Yeah, I made a, a Captain America type one. Oh, really? Yep, he has a shield, and he has uh, Mjolnir, just like an endgame. Was yours an extra large one, or was yours the small one? Uh, I don't remember. Because I know when like, I tried to do the regular size one, they were like, yeah, yours has too much detail. It has to be an extra large figurine. So it's literally going to be bigger yeah. than both no, of yours. My, no, mine's not. Because mine, um, mine didn't have a lot. Mine just had the shield and the other hammer. Nothing crazy. Mine I'm, just I mean, I'm not I'm not mad about it because it's, it's badass. But also kind of sad. 
Yeah, well, there we go. That's right. something we can bring up, too. We're going to start D&D &D soon. Not going to say now or anything. So we'll get our characters. And I never played, so they'll have to teach me what's going on. Well, yeah. I've also never played, but I've watched... Um, I don't know if it's College Humor. I think it's College Humor. Might not be... I can't remember for sure, but they have like a whole D and D campaign thing that they post on YouTube, and I've like severely paid attention to it. Yeah, I love I it. Never I paid love D and D. To it at all, so I had no idea. Well, that can be something we could do for a video. We can record every ounce of us, you know, learning and playing together. I just don't know how the whole uh, setting up uh, stuff works. Because don't you have like a like a board you got to walk across, like roll dice to move and stuff? So like the nice thing that they've done now for D and D is you can play online. So like you can have your character sheets online and everything, and you can actually have like the board and the whole setup online. Oh okay. Instead, but you naturally like normally you play. Um, with like a board and like someone has a dice tower and you kind of just roll and like people have like the monster figurines and stuff for well, like mean, we, the... could, we could work on like just down the road in the future just investing into all the stuff instead of rushing yeah. to start it right away we can just look up how much stuff costs over time we can all work on gathering everything we need well we can start... also just start off with like the online version and then if it really takes off and becomes like this big crazy campaign then we can like bust out like a whole board and everything and like make it some huge process because i i was thinking because i looked up how to create like certain characters for D, &D like custom ones so you're not just actually having that person mm -hmm. there's a lot of tutorials how to make like actual like heroes that exist like master chief and stuff yeah. Like all those heroes. And I was thinking, what if we could somehow get all those heroes and villains, make them all created, and do a massive fucking campaign? Well, then you'd have to be... So, like, how it works with D&D is it's not really, like, up to us if we're playing in it. It's up to the, the DM. So, like, the Dungeon Master makes the whole campaign story already pre-plotted -pre out, and then it changes based off of our decisions. Ugh. So it's not like you have, like, this pre-set story that you all come to agree on. It's kind of like your DM worked on this whole, like, crazy campaign for, like, months or something wild. And then you all get together and fucking basically ruin their life because you don't handle it the way they want you to. <laughs> but I it's say, not fuck like... you, I have my own story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's not really like a... You everyone gets together and collectively is like, hey, because then you would know, like, how to win all the boss fights, and you'd know about, like, all the secrets. Like, it's supposed to be the equivalent of playing, like, a video game while you're, like, no, kind I'm of not, discovering I'm not, I'm not saying stuff. we make the story. I'm saying we have one made. Like, we get all these awesome characters that we can plug into a huge story. Well, D&D campaigns normally take, like, months on end to complete in general. So, like, what is your definition of a huge story? Years. I don't know, just something that fucking isn't done. Because I, I hate seeing the same stuff. Well, I mean, it's not really the same stuff. Like, people, it depends on who your dungeon master is. They come up with their own crazy stories. Well, who the I've never really I seen, like... Be? Uh, probably Nick. Oh, he's the one that made his character was excited to play. Yeah, but he... I mean, you can find Dungeon Masters online. Like I said, it's online. It's online, dude. You can meet up with one that already has a campaign ready and needs people to play. Don't you worry. Don't worry about the kinks. We'll figure, we'll figure it, it out. out. I'm yeah. worried about the kinks because I got a lot of stuff I want to work on, and I don't want to work on months of a board game. Hey, it's not just a board game. Hey, you it's heard a lifestyle. Me? You heard it's me. It's a lifestyle. It's a board game. Just because you're not excited for D and D doesn't mean shit. 
I'm excited for my character more than the game. You should be excited for both. No, because I'm fucking I'm Captain America, man. What do you what do I have to be more excited about? I'm awesome. I'm not a Have you even soldier. made I'm your a good man? Uh, no, have you even we're, made your we're supposed thing? to make it last Saturday, but no one showed up. Well, I guess we're making them this Saturday. Bam. I guess so, but that's last on the list. We have more important stuff to do first. This is true. So that can be. And then what? Last. And what? Huh? So, are we still recording? Uh, do you want to end it and then continue conversation? Yeah, because I was just about to start asking questions about other stuff. <laughs> okay, all right. So, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you, uh, iHeartRadio, for letting us have this podcast on there, even though uh, I'm surprised you allow us, because we're unwelcomed. But I hope everyone enjoyed. Please come back and visit us again. Don't forget to check out uh, Wally's podcast, uh, Ever-Changing Vibes, and Jocelyn's Table Talks. Uh Brandon's comes out on Sunday and Jocelyn's comes out on Mondays. So I hope you guys all enjoy. Please check them out. Uh, you can you can talk now. All right. So what were you? What stop motion screen script bullshit 